Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger here, and I'm with Tim Hildebrand from Don's Appliances, and he's been helping me pick out the appliances here at the jail. So he's going to give you some tips on how to do the same when you're working at home. So Tim, what would you recommend? Because I was at a loss. I think you have to start with uh, the space that you have, what you're trying to achieve. Okay. So like your space, you wanted something, a 36 inch range. So that was a good place to start. Mm -hmm. uh, so what type of cooking do you do? Do you use ever more than four burners? Is a griddle something on a 36 inch range you'd like? Mm -hmm. uh, a griddle or a grill? From there, we have to pick the ventilation that goes above the, the space. Can we vent it out? And with your high ceilings here, we had some recommendations to use the, uh, the spiral pipe, mm -hmm. get up into your ceiling and go outside, but we have to make sure we have enough power, CFMs to not only take care of the stove, but to push the air outside. Now, what does CFMs mean? Uh, cubic foot per minute of uh, air that the fan can get the smoke, the grease, the odors out of the kitchen. Okay. Because we, we learned last week that I needed to be conscious of the negative air pressure. Yes, okay. so makeup air. Makeup air, that's yeah. what it was. Uh, I never heard that term before either. Yeah, so this building is a little bit older of a building, so probably not as much of a need for makeup air as uh, a newer building where they're made very tight. And uh, if you're sucking a lot of the air out of the room, it takes the oxygen out of the room also. Mm -hmm. So it could be a health hazard. So some of these new buildings are built so tight that you have to really... Be yeah, and anything over 400 CFM needs makeup air in a lot of the counties in Pennsylvania right now. Okay, and we're in Armstrong right here, but when we were at your showroom, we were in Allegheny, and they're the stricter... Of yes, Allegheny is 400. I don't know what Armstrong's uh, makeup air law is, though. Yeah. From there, I think, you know, uh, refrigeration's a good second place to go. Okay. So yeah. I got the win on um, the refrigerator that I picked out because I really wanted two solid units and you were able to hook me up with it. Yeah, so depending on how big of a family you have, how often you go to the grocery store, uh, how much you entertain, mm -hmm. th there's some questions that you should consider when you're getting refrigeration. Mm -hmm. uh, the units you have being an all refrigerator, all freezer, you're able to get wider things in there. Uh, your 18 cubic foot of refrigeration, 18 cubic foot of freezer space. Mm -hmm. So for entertaining and for bulk buying, it's you know mm -hmm. really the best you can get. Yeah, and we're getting a cabinet around our refrigerator freezer, but you got me this really cool trim kit that makes it look like a sub-zero when it's not. Yeah, it makes it look commercial with one grill that goes over both the units. Mm -hmm. Though even though they're separate, and if something ever happened to one or the other, it does look like one big commercial unit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And by doing all that, I was able to upgrade and get a coffee machine. Can you tell us a little bit about my coffee machine that I got? Because you have the same one at home. I, I do, yeah. So it's a Bosch coffee, uh, and what it does is it makes espresso, cappuccino, uh, you can make uh, cafe mocha, uh, Americana, uh, and it actually grinds the beans. You put fresh beans in it. Okay. It grinds the beans and it gives you fresh coffee per cup. So you, it doesn't make a pot, it makes per cup. It's fairly quick though. A uh, uh, double shot of espresso takes about 30 seconds. Okay, wow. So. And that, is it need refrigeration or is it tapped into your refrigerator with the milk? How does that work? It does not. So the milk container has, it, you can keep it in there up to 12 hours. Okay. It has a rod that goes inside the milk to keep it cold. Okay. for up to 12 hours. Okay. Other than that, you can take it out, put it in the refrigerator and store it in there when you're not using it. And then just hook it back up mm -hmm. when you're done. Oh, very cool. Can't wait. Yeah. Thank you again for all of your help oh, with this. Thank you. Yep. Great project. Thanks.